to the centerpiece of wildfighter round two it is time for the main event and it's all for the victorian state cruiserweight title victor Oganov, a man who really needs no introduction to aussie boxing fans a record of 32 and 6 he's at the tail end of his career he's 14 years older than jason waitley waitley a perfect four and oh a medalist a silver medalist at the commonwealth games an olympian and he's certainly coming towards his physical prime he'll certainly have uh, a significant height advantage. He's 20 centimetres taller than Oganov. They both weighed in at 91 kilos yesterday out in Richmond. And Waitley has the advantage as far as the reach is concerned by three centimetres. Time for the introductions in our main event. And our MC is Perry Kale. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Timmy Yard, a wild fight at two stars make fights. This is the moment of truth, the moment you've all been waiting for. This is our main event of the evening. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, from the red corner, from the red corner, a former contender on the Contender Australia, a former two-time WBO Asia Pacific champion. Ladies and gentlemen, residing out of Perth, Western Australia, via way of Siktivika, Russia. Please welcome the Russian Russian, Viktor Oganov. So Viktor Oganov on his way in, and in the colors of his, uh, his homeland and native Russia, he's got the red with the white and blue trim. He's resided in Australia for a period of time since. He's really an adopted Aussie. We class him as one of our own as the LL Cool J, cool J track rings out around the timber yard. The tuner don't call it a comeback. Here he is, Viktor Oganov again at 42 years of age. The last time we saw him in the cruiserweight division, he went to war with Brad Pitt back in November of 2011. He did, mate. He had Brad Pitt in all sorts. Brad also a Commonwealth Games gold medalist, former Olympian. Um, yeah, look, he had him in all sorts. And the last thing to go on a fighter is their power. And if there's one thing that Viktor Oganov has in spades, that's power. The trainer, the likes of Kostya Zhu and uh, Jeff Fennick and Gary Shaw at various stages throughout his career. He sparred with the likes of Paul Briggs, Danny Green and Arthur Abraham. He's had a tremendous career, Viktor Oganov. And as you heard in the introductions, part of the contender series at Super Middleweight. Lost to the eventual winner, Garth Wood, as part of that series back in 2009. He beat Junior Talapau on his way through. We get to see him again here tonight. Provides the perfect gatekeeper fight for Jason Waitley. Yeah, we're going to see where Jason's at. And um, we may see Jason's chin tested in this. Uh, I would imagine that uh, that certainly isn't the plan for Jason and Marcus Amato. Being such a well-schooled boxer and such a well-schooled amateur, <clears throat> well-storied amateur career. So let's learn a bit about Jason Waitley. Yeah, I definitely think I can knock him out. I'd be surprised if he goes the distance, to be completely honest. Yeah, I think it's just having that time now to think about your shots too, not just running in there and just going for it. It's having time to actually sit down, plan a shot, go right when he does that, I can, I can try and land this shot. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm very confident um, and uh, I know he's coming looking for the stoppage and I can tell you I'm doing the exact same thing. I'll be surprised if he goes in. So winning the Victorian title means a lot to me. The same as the Australian title. I've done it as an amateur, so now I want to do it as a pro and I want to go through the ranks and eventually get myself to a world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome fighting out of Ringwood via Sale Victoria, the undefeated phenom, Jason the Warrior Wayland! Here he comes, Jason Whiteley, the second edition of Wildfighter, and this man has headlined both the cards so far. He turned to boxing, really fell into it after he was playing football out at East Gippsland for Lakes Entrance, part of an annual tournament where they invited footballers from rival clubs to put on the gloves. 
He took part on a proper amateur card, and all of a sudden, a few fights after that, he made his way to representing Australia in both the Commonwealth Games, winning a silver medal, and then the Olympics in Rio. And now he's here turning pro in his fifth pro fight, a perfect record, sitting at 4-0. Perfect pro record indeed, and look, he's certainly found some power in his last couple of fights. The official introductions with Perry Kale. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get in the official introduction of our main event for Wildfighter Round 2, would you all please be upstanding for the national anthem, proudly sung by Mick Harrington. Australians, oh, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. We've golden soil and wealth for toil. Our home is good by sea. Our land abounds in nature's gifts. How beauty rich and rare in history's page let every stage advance Australia fair in joyful strains and let us sing and advance Australia fair Mick Harrington, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, these two warriors now step in the ring to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the oldest proving ground. As ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. It is now time to separate the men from the boys. Playtime is over. Sanctioned by the Combat Sports Board of Victoria and the ANBF. Our judges at ringside, Andrew Campbell, Jeff Eddy, and Andrew Bartlett. Combat Sports Board members, Scotty Brown, Simone Bailey, our timekeeper at ringside, Damien Membry, and our physician at ringside, Dr. Naomi Harris. And now live from the Timber Yard, Wildfighter Boxing, number two, our main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Without any further ado, it's fight time! Eight by three minute rounds, the main event, and is for the Victorian Cruiserweight title. Proudly brought to you by Quest Environments. When the action begins, our referee in charge is Mr. Tony Moretta. Introducing first to my right, fighting out of the red corner. Trained by Pat Garner from the World Gym. Official weight, 91 kilograms. Standing 5 feet 9 inches tall. A former contestant on the Contender Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former two-time, two-time WBO Asia Pacific champion. 38 fights, 32 wins, 30 by way of knockout. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia. Via way of Siktivikia, Russia. Please welcome the Russian Russian, Victor Oganov! And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Marcus Samato from Peninsula Boxing Gym. Official weight, 91 kilograms even. Standing six feet five inches tall. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, wearing a black shorts with a white tram. He was a Commonwealth Games representative, age 28. Fighting out of Ringwood, Victoria, via way of Sale and Country, Victoria, rank number 12 in Australia, the current WBF Australasian Cruiserweight Champion. This man is undefeated. Four fights, four wins, three by way of knockout. Please welcome the warrior, Jason Whiteley. Fighters, do centering, please, for final instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of the Victorian Cruiserweight title. I've been on the struggle for a long time. The 
defend yourselves at all times. Let's keep it clean, let's keep it fair. Touch clubs, good luck to both of you. If Jason Whateley belongs here on an incredibly high level as a cruiserweight, he could make Victor Ivanov look even older than 42. If he's not, he could make Victor look young again. But this is a massive step up for Jason Whateley. Victor Ivanov has 10 times the amount of experience of Whateley. It's just how much does Victor Ivanov have left in the tank and how classy is Jason Whateley? Main event underway, Corbin Middlemass calling the fights alongside world-rated super middleweight Jade Mitchell. Waitley in the black trunks with White. And the Russian Russian Victor Oganov in the red, white and blue. As Waitley tries to find a home for that lead left jab. As he flicks it Oganov's way. The last time we saw Victor, he was campaigning at heavyweight. It's a long way up for a guy who did a lot of his work around the middleweight limit, but super middleweight against Dempsey McKean, and he put on a good show that night before McKean was able to bring it to a close. Waitley continues to build his resume in the pros, undefeated through four fights. Just such contrasting builds on both of these boys. We've got the, the long Waitley, and look how thick Victor Ogunov is. He's trying to get inside on Waitley to try and take away that reach advantage. Trying to put his head right on the chest of the Warrior. Yeah, he's really trying to close that gap. Oh, Waitley, beautiful left body shot. That oh! Man, and now slaps through with the, uh, the left hook as oh. well. Oganov trying to get inside a clear tactic from him. He's worn some punches early as he walks at Waitley. And that comes with some risk, Jade Mitchell, to try and get on the inside of a guy like this. Well, as we can see, Waitley just picking him off. And Victor Oganov has been relatively like he has been durable in fights against Dempsey McKean I believe was it the sixth round that McKean finally got him out of it um, so he can take a shot McKean a big strong guy and um, yeah these shots are not are not light shots by any means nice start by Jason Waitley one minute remaining in the opening round Victor Oganoff trying to move his head out of the way and a bit of the glove landing from Waitley on both of those jabs. Oganov goes upstairs, misses, and then lands a punch straight into the gloves of Waitley, who covers up back to the ropes. Even through the gloves, you can see oh. the power in those shots. Waitley splits the guard of Oganov there, but Watch straight the down the middle with the three-punch combination. Lands with that left hook oh. again and goes to the body. And Oganov looks like he's worn some punches flush check already in this fight. Guys, and check the punches up. Changing levels great there, Waitley. Still 30 seconds remaining in the fight. It's been a dynamic opening by Jason Waitley. As Oganov faints to move inside, Waitley throws to the body. Oh, beautiful, beautiful two right punch hand. combination. The right straight down the middle, bounced off the sternum of Victor. Final 10 seconds. Oganov with his hands up. Stop. Now tries to back Waitley into the ropes, and that'll do us through one. Impressive start by the Warrior, Jason Waitley. All Waitley's way. Look, Oganov pressing the action, trying to close the gap, trying to land with those round shots. And we even saw when the, when the punches landed on the gloves, there was power there. Let's tune in like to the corner of the Warrior. Marcus Amato. Yeah, you're fucking wearing him out, mate. You can't keep going like that. I don't care how tough this cup thinks he is. You keep that lead hand every time, just spin on the ground. Every time you step out, you're back on that lead hand, he can't set his feet. When he closes you up on the ropes, you've got to be tight. Don't let that little rear up and can't get through. Jason, fucking hates it to the body. Hates it to the body. Mouth goes. All pretty happy in the Whiteley corner. Understandably, on the back of that round. <laughs> Colourful language there in the uh, Whiteley corner. They're looking, they want more work to the body. Marcus Amato was very clear in his directions that he does not like it to the body. Hoganov took a lot of punishment in that first round. You can see his eyes as he just glares at Waitley, trying to move out of the way, and Waitley snaps that right hand, bounces up the chest of Hoganov. Now he retreats, uses the perimeter of the ring. I do not like Hoganov walking in, enticing Waitley to just drive that right hand down the, down the pipe. Wildfighter round, wildfighter round one, we saw 
Candidate for knockout of the year with a straight right hand down the pipe, just like that one. Whaley snaps the head back of Oganov. You can see a couple of these punches landing through the guard now. And Moroni in the early stages of the second round. No pushing, Jason, no pushing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Whaley's missed yet. Continues to land at will. Oganov trying oh. to close the distance and wears a sequence of the old? lefts and rights. A three-punch combination from Whaley. Three-piece speed right there, Corbin. He's absolutely eating these. Oganov, 42, taking a lot of hey. punches. Okay. His gloves hit the mat after slipping, trying to load up on that big left. Oganov's face is already oh. starting to mark up. But look, it'll only take one of these shots from Oganov to land. The crush and Russian just has phenomenal power. But Waitley just too smart at the moment. He's keeping his distance well. I don't want to see the arm going, okay? Us using the forearm to keep Oganov off, who's crowding the distance there. Tony Moretta not having a bar of it. Warning Waitley for pushing. As Waitley throws as he backs towards the ropes. And Victor Oganov, we know how tough he is. He's got a whole career to speak for itself on that front. As he continues to try and get inside. And the Waitley continues to keep him at distance. It's been landing at will. And now Organov loads up. Waitley covers up. Oh, oh, hurt oh. by the left hand. Organov lands on the left and he closes in. Great, trying great, to capitalize on that fight. advantage. Go, Jason, let go. You two, come here. Come here. And that come was here. the question coming in as to whether Organov could test the chin of Waitley. Reminiscent of Organov versus Brad Pitt. All he has to do is touch you once. Whiteley looked a little buzzed after that shot from Viktor Oganov. He's got 15 seconds to make it out of this second round. Oganov has him against the ropes. Watch the back of the head. Some deep breaths from Whiteley, desperate to get to the end of the round. And what a comeback from Viktor Oganov. Not just tonight, but in the fight. He ate a heap of punches in that opening round and has come back with an impressive showing. Like I said, in that I, second round, I don't think I don't think Whiteley's missed, and um, yeah, it only takes that one shot from Oganov. Let's see if we can see it on the replay. I'm looking out for that left hand from Victor Oganov. Not that one. <laughs> Loaded up on a home run shot there that didn't go, but once he finally made his way through the Whiteley defence, you could see. It's stunned. There Bradley. it is. There it is. His eyes rolled back in his head momentarily. He was a, a little unsteady on his feet. And Victor Organov, that'll give him a heap of confidence, Jade Mitchell. It will, mate. It's going to give him confidence just to keep walking, walking Waitley down. We got a fight. We certainly do. So they're happy for Victor. They're happy for their charge to just take his time and keep pressing up. And equally for Whiteley, this is exactly why he wanted Victor Oganov. He's on a steep learning curve as a pro in his fifth fight. One of the toughest guy available, and they've got an absolute warrior in with the warrior in Jason Whiteley. Nice right hand pivot out there by Whiteley. I'd like to see lots of that. Lots of I want to see Whiteley continually get off the train track, so to speak. Not not be there for that for those massive shots to come through. Let the shots go. Get around him. Get on your bike. Oganov works inside, Waitley covers up. Great footwork, Waitley skips out to his right. Because the longer this fight goes, the more it favours Jason Waitley. Victor Oganov will run out of steam. I know Jason Waitley would be one of the hardest workers in Australian boxing. No one out trains Jason Waitley. He's a fit, fit boy, and he will go at this pace all night. Oganov will not go at this pace all night. I asked Waitley in the lead-up what he thinks the difference will be in the fight. He said... He's not anywhere near my work level. His work rate isn't great, and my tank is second to none. To back up that point from Jade Mitchell. Beautiful chopping right hands there by Waitley. Body, head, I love it. I don't like him. I don't like him staying there. But let those shots go. Get on your bike, Jason. There's no need to engage with this dangerous Russian. Oh, oh. stiff right hand. You heard that echo That's through the building. Oh. Tony Moretta warning Jason once again for pushing off with the forearm. Oh, beautiful double hook there. 
Nice uppercut by Oganov. So Waitley, the two-punch combination with the right hand. Oganov, happy to have Waitley with his back against the ropes, moves in. Continues to try and discipline Oganov with that left jab from Waitley. Another, another three-piece speed there. Oganov just eating them up. He keeps coming forward, Victor. He's taking some punishment to try and land one home run shot. Throws to the body. Now the uppercut, big left hand, no good. Still a physical fight for Jason. Physical fight. He's just this constant pressure and the strength of Oganov. He's certainly filled out as a, uh, as a cruiserweight Oganov has. Campaigned as a super middleweight for the majority of his career. And um, he certainly carried the power, that's for sure. Waitley goes to the body now. Three-punch combination, two to the bodies, and then one upstairs. And Oganov keeps coming forward. Keeps walking Waitley back as Waitley... Beautiful jab. Jabs multiple times. And I Oganov. Like, I don't like Jason going back in a straight line. Get those shots off, get around him. <laughs> rounds in the books. Jason Whiteley, Victor Oganov. They've set the tempo here through three rounds. The best of eight in the main event here tonight for the Victorian Cruiserweight title. It'll be very interesting to see what Marcus Amato has to say. Jason, that's the round you need. That sort of round. Touch, 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 touch. Couple on the inside, turn off. Don't sit with him too long. Marcus Amato. See, he's getting tired. He's not throwing much, but everything's loaded. He's asked, asking for exactly what I've been saying. Make a miss. Here's the Waitley corner. He's doing fucking semicircles all the time. He misses. That's the best time to hit him because he relaxes his arms after he misses. Hey, he hates the body, mate. Great, in the body, we've got to finish back up high. Great instructions from Marcus Amato. Fourth round, mate. Fourth round. Said exactly as I said in that round. We want to see him turn off after those shots. Don't go backwards in a straight line. There's no need to take these shots on the arms, on the gloves. So start of the fourth round, Waitley and Oganov for the Victorian State Cruiserweight title. He needs to turn him and get around him. There we go, he's going to hook off. Corbin Middlemass alongside Jade Mitchell calling the action for you. Jade mentioned in the intro tonight that the last thing to leave a fighter is their power. Victor Oganov won his first 26 professional bouts by knockout. And he's already buzzed Whiteley once in the fight. Beautiful short right hand there by Whiteley, catching him coming in. Keep him up, Jason, keep him up. Changing levels well, a little bit low. Around the corner with that right hand. And then he comes out on an angle, I like that. But then gets caught on the ropes. He's got to keep turning him, keep turning him, just like that. Wait, Whiteley tries to... Then after he turns him, that's when he wants to fire. He's Oganov trying to get inside Whiteley's chest again as he slips and moves. Watch your heads, boys. Continuing to work behind that stiff left jab. He throws a right hand, which bounces off the forehead of Oganov. Beautiful combination. Finish him with a right hand up top. Oganov moves in now. He needs to turn him. He needs to turn him. He cannot be there. There's no need to be there. Beautiful right hand straightens up with that left. Whiteley fires back. Oganov leans in. Doubles up with the right. Body, head. And again, great work right no by Whiteley as he tries to run Victor around the ring. That reach advantage as he continues to throw behind the jab. A couple of straight rights. He's wanting to push Oganov back, but he's, he keeps coming forward. The Russian Russian throws hard to the body with that left hook. Digging very hard to the body. Jason still is very composed. His mind's on the job. He doesn't seem to be too faced at all by... Oganov continually pressing forward, closing that gap. Whiteley snapping the head back there on Oganov and a number of those jabs. I like that. He peels out and he gets back on the jab and then he's on his bike again. That's good. That's what Marcus Amato was calling for. Do not sit on the ropes. Oganov tries to answer with the left hand upstairs. Whiteley continuing to move. Oganov just has that confidence in his power. He's happy just to keep pressing forward. 
like a bulldozer, Victor Roganov. There's absolutely no giving him as he keeps coming forward oh. and keeps eating touches from Waitley. A brutal cruiserweight fight for the Victorian title. Continuing to walk at Waitley, continuing to be tagged by those jabs. And that'll do us through four rounds. Waitley heads to the corner. The halfway mark. I think Waitley, Waitley did well there turning him. And uh, Victor Oganov, just that constant pressure. He has so much, so much, um, so much just faith in that power. He knows he's going to find, he knows he can find that one punch and that's all it's going to take. Is Marcus Amato? Oh no! In fact, it's the uh, Victor Oganov corner. So Patrick Gardner, the trainer there with Oganov. They're asking Victor Oganov. They're asking Victor to press up off those slips. Press up off those slips. Don't come in straight. Every time he's came in straight, he's eating those combinations of Whateley. Hoganov now based in Perth, Western Australia. He's made the long trip over. Oh. He's fighting a guy coming into his physical prime at 42 years of age and keeps walking at Jason Whateley. Early portion of round five. Wildfighter round two is the main event of the evening. Jason Whateley and Victor Oganov. Both fighters just feeling out the early portion of the fifth round the uh, wild fighter slogan certainly rings true in this one styles make fights you've got two totally contrasting styles and this is giving us one hell of a fight edge of the seat stuff here with jason waitley and the crushing russian victor oganov Keep him up both fighters taking a breather in the early portion here of the fifth round waitley snaps his left jab sharp jab see Victor sort of just, just backed off the pace a little bit here. He's not pressing up as much. Waitley's got his distance. Back into the centre of the ring. Oh, beautiful finish with the uppercut there. I like to see Jason now, after he lets these shots go, fall onto his back foot and then go again with the second attack. Let Oganov try to close that distance and fall onto his shot. Landing some nice punches, Waitley. He's, he's, he's allowing him to have a little bit more room this round. And continuing to work, continuing to run Oganov around. Yep. And Oganov only knows one way, continues to walk forward. Three, three and four shot combinations from Waitley. And again, a three punch combo. Nice. This is off with another right hand as well, which lands up top. Second attack there with the right hand. See, this is where I'd love to see Jason. Oh. Beautiful body shot, which set that up in the right hand. Oh. Pushes Oganov back twice. Is Oganov in trouble for the first time in this fight? Waitley closes in. He lands with a left hand twice. Oganov feeling it, but his punch is down. He's continuing to land. Waitley closes in on Oganov. Moretta. Tries to cover up. Moretta having a good look. And Oganov takes Touch. a knee. Three, four, He's breathing five, heavily. Six. six. Seven, eight, nine. It Victor looked, Oganov's up. It looked, it looked as though Victor Oganov was just taking the start of this round that off. Oh, I think he may be tired. I think he may. Crowd sensing a stoppage. Can Whiteley close the show in the next 20 seconds? Victor Oganov taking a knee in the fifth round. Keep him up, Jason. Keep him up. Whiteley warned for the low punch. Nice. Nice right hand. Still so dangerous, but Oganov. And so experienced. Oganov slipping, missing, and he makes it to the bell. End of the fifth round, and he needs some redirecting Oganov as he makes his way back to his corner. Jason Whiteley sits down. He's in control of this fight after an early scare in the second. Yeah, Victor seemed to just come out and just give Jason that little bit more room in that round, and that, that's all it took.
picked his corner, asking for him to press up off the tick top. Aggression. There's no point rushing it. That's five down, three to go. You're going to put him away. Just a matter of when, yeah? yeah. He hates that body, mate. Yeah. Going downstairs and then coming up. He's really covering up to that body now. That's why that one's in the corner. Yeah. Took a knee off the body shot. Now he's going to come out swinging hard this round, straight away. He's got eight. He's got 20 seconds. That's it. He's going to make sure of it. Loving the instructions from Marcus Amato of Peninsula Boxing. Picked up. I think he's on the money. I think the crash and Russian only has a flurry or two in him. Start of take, the take, sixth round. Take your time. Nothing silly. And he's going to get him out of there. Thoughts of world-rated super middleweight Jade Mitchell alongside myself, Corbin Middlemass, on hand here at Wildfighter. And the main event of the evening, Whiteley and Oganov. And a 10-8 round for Whiteley in round six. Lopsided on our cards. Unofficially ringside as Whiteley lands again and has Oganov oh, in trouble. Another vicious body shot. Oganov is covering that body. Loading up oh. the right hand. Another oh. combination lands from Whiteley. Oganov on his oh. hand. Oh. Oh. The warrior Jason Whiteley with a virtuoso performance. It's very easy to be a Jason Whiteley fan. And Viktor Oganov, at 42 years of age, another stoic performance by this great champion. But Father Time is undefeated, and Jason Whiteley's time has arrived. Let's take a look at the highlights, Jade Mitchell. Jason just picks his shots so well. Digs to the body. He'll come back up to the head. The uppercut just misses there with the uppercut. But variation on his attacks when he's letting his hands go. He changes levels. He's up the middle. He's around the corner. And Victor Oganov just had nowhere else to go but take a knee. Tony Moretta had seen enough. Great performance there by Jason Whateley. He passes the test of Victor Oganov and moves on to bigger and better things. He's made no secret of the fact that he wants... The Australian title, and there's a bit of uncertainty in the cruiserweight division. Ben Kelleher is the current Aussie cruiserweight champion. He's currently ranked number seven in Australia. He says he wants a shot at the title. Feels like he's earned his spot. Well, he's done his chances no harm with a victory here tonight. The AMBF rankings, Kelleher is the title hold holder at the moment. It is a stacked division. Jai up for at number one, Mac Flanagan, a guy who Waitley sparred with in the lead up to this fight. Kane Watts at number three, towards the top of the rankings in the cruiserweight division. Yeah, it's uh, it is. It's it's one of the premier divisions in Australian boxing right now. The names you just rattled off there, um, mate. It's, it's it's exciting. It's really exciting. Um, I think. Jason Waitley and Jaya Patea, uh, probably the, the young guns leading the way on the way up there. Uh, Mark Flanagan, he's been there, he's done it for the world title twice. You've got Kane Watts, who's been around forever. Um, been around forever and just a powerful, powerful dude. Um, but it's exciting, mate. We've got some young, fresh blood in the cruiserweight division in Australia. Victor Oganov makes his way towards centre ring along with Jason Waitley. He's looking for his belt. He's the MC, Perry Kale. Well, ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Morita puts a stop to this contest. 45 seconds into the sixth round. Your winner by TKO and new Victorian Cruiserweight Champion and still undefeated, Jason the Warrior Whiteley. And a big round of applause to the Russian Russian, Victor Oganov. Is Jason Whiteley and Danny Yonato's got him for a chat here. The new Victoria Jason, Cruiserweight champ. Big win for what is your biggest step up of your career. How do you feel? Talk me through the finish. Yeah, I feel really good. Um, I sort of hoped that my fitness would come over the top in the end, and uh, I think that's what happened. I, I threw a lot of punches. I think my punch count was up pretty high, which which is something that we wanted to do. Um, you know, but full credit to Victor. Thanks for taking the fight. Um, he showed that. Uh, you know, he's been a warrior for so many years and he just showed why because I was landing some good punches and uh, didn't even seem to be bothering him. So it was a good fight and I'm just happy to come away with a win. Jason, 
second round. It appeared you got hurt. You've had a lot of fights. Have you ever been hit like that? He is a big puncher. Tell me. Yeah, he sort of caught me by surprise with that one. So that was a good shot. Credit to him again. Um, he just sort of caught me on the temple and the legs went a little bit. But I've uh, had a lot of fight in the amateurs and I've been there before, so I sort of knew how to stick it out. You're now the Victorian Cruiserweight Champion. There's one person sitting at home, no doubt, watching this fight. His name's Benjamin Kelleher. He's the Australian Cruiserweight Champion. Is that something you're interested in? Is that fight in talks with your management? Yeah, look, I'm not sure if Ben's uh, going to be, still be the title holder next week or if he's going to be vacating it. But the Australian title is something that I want. So I don't care who's got it, I want to fight him for it. So it doesn't matter if it's Ben or, or anyone else. I want to fight and I want the title. Thank you very much. Three fights in three months with that answer. Do you plan on slowing down or are you ready to go forward and go harder? Three fights in three months. Are you, gonna, are you planning on slowing down and having a break or are you ready to have another one? We'll probably have a little bit of a break now, but um, if we get a chance to fight the Australian title, mate, I'd fight for it next week. So we'll just have to go back now and have a think about what we want to do and what opportunities we can get and then we'll go from there. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Well, I just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. It's been it's an amazing event. Will puts on a great show, and uh, it wouldn't be possible without you guys that show up. So thanks to Will, and thanks to everyone for coming out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of a wild fighter number two, Styles Make Fights. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Paris Productions, our lovely commentators, Jade Mitchell and Corda Middlemas, our wa lovely wildfighter ring girls, Hannah and Jacqueline, on behalf of a wildfighter, we will be back in October. This is from the Timber Yard. My name is Perry Kaya. Honour and pleasure being your master of ceremonies for this evening. Have a good night, everyone, and please drive safely. So the official farewell there from Perry Kale. And here is uh, the night with a quick snapshot overview. It's been another tremendous card, Jade Mitchell. What we've witnessed here tonight, just the second edition of Wildfighter. Evenly matched night of fights. Uh, very fast, quick in the dead, four rounders there. Um, all culminating in, in a great main event. Will Tomlinson has done a brilliant job with Wildfighter round two. I've thoroughly enjoyed the night. We're going to see a bit more of this guy, the bomber. Blake Wells, who was able to get out with a decision victory. Longest fight of his pro career tonight. All action from Mark Smith, as you'd expect. Uh, always great, great fun when Mark Smith's in the house. It was a great fight with Si Leifer. And the main event to close out with Jason Waitley winning the Victorian State Cruiserweight title. And what a test it was, Corbin. My God, did he land some shots on uh, Victor Oganov. And he was there threatening the whole fight. So on behalf of Jade Mitchell, myself, Corbin Middlemass, and the entire crew, that's it for Wild Top Fighter, round two.